Hello, my name is Ander and welcome back to my Minecraft Survival Let's Play. We're back here in the Birch Forest at our little home and today we're going to do a few little jobs around here and try to get a little bit straighter. The last episode we did exploring, that episode will be going out in the next day or so. After that I'll see what feedback I get on all the, the exploration we've done and we'll come up with some ideas and plans going forward for further bases out in the wide world and roughly an idea what we've got planned going forward with that. So today, what are we going to be doing? Right, well, last episode I was planning on maybe getting sugar cane farm done. However, the exploration took a little bit longer than I was hoping to take. And so we didn't run out of time. So I've got an area marked out here and one marked out here. And what I want to do is set up a couple of greenhouses. And each of these greenhouses will have a crop. So the first one up here will be sugar cane. And the other one will be pumpkin and melon, or vice versa, whichever one I decide to do first. And these are going to be manual farms, no automation here. We'll do the automated farms at a later date. But I thought, first things first, we'll sort out a layout for these farms. Then we can get them built and get the crop screen as a starting point. So, first things first, we're going to have a brick base. Uh, you can go in there. And then this will be all the way around. And that is our basic shape and then okay you have a door here may have to cook some more clay up actually looking at this right one two this side and then we'll come over here and that's all those up and i'll have to get the dirt in here and then i want to come up one here I'll put a roof on there and then what I'll do is roughly the same over here one quick snooze later and then I'm going to I want this to go a little bit higher I think then we'll get some more bricks okay I've got a few more I've not got a a vast amount cooked up actually. Not the best of planning, but there we go. Right. Uh, okay, where's my dirt? Let me just take this all one higher. I'll take mine over here. And at this point, we're going to bring this across. And this time, I'll take all these out. I'll come down this side here. Let's see how far this goes across. It's not going to reach the end, is it? It's. One shot, I'll just see if I get it some more in a minute. What we'll do is we'll bring this one underneath. In fact, I will drop, I'm gonna take this one out and this one, make them both. So one shot, I'll have painted glass down the side. No, I can't keep racing glass, I haven't got a silk touch. In the top, we're going to go with the larger pieces of glass. I'm wasting it again. I think we'll take panes in this end here. I think we'll just put panes of glass in here. But this is going to be our basic greenhouse shape. For this crop, I'm going to get some leaves to go over the top and that sort of thing, just to, get, just to sort of blend in a little bit more. But that's our greenhouse, and this will be sugar cane. I'm going to have sugar cane one down each side and in the middle, and then in here. I'll dig this out because this will be a channel of water. That way, the same here, and then we we'll sugar cane in, and then that that greenhouse is done. Uh, that one will be exactly the same, except we'll have a row of melons on one side, a row of pumpkins down the other, pop in the middle, and then that will likewise be the same there. And the only thing I might just do is I'm get a barrel, pop a barrel in there for storage, and that should do the job. But that's going to be our greenhouse. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to replicate that one over there. I'm going to get the crops in them. And we'll get these up and running. And that, I keep looking over there. I keep thinking I can see a banner. It's not, it's the trees and the line of light. Get some leaves over it and the light. Get the crops in. And then that will be our greenhouses up and running. So let me get the um, everything cooked up. And uh, let's get these greenhouses built and come filled in. And here we are to completed greenhouses. I've added some additional greenery on the front and a bit around the back. I actually ran out of leaves during the recording. So after the recording finished, I've uh, just gone and grew a couple of um, azalea trees and attacked their branches with some shears. And there you go. And we've got our first pumpkin actually. Let's come and click it. I burned it a little bit up with some of these stalks. So pop you into the storage chest. And I like these. I like these a lot now. So I've a couple of lights in here. I've actually broke some of the panels on the top of the roof, some of the brick uh, half slabs, and got the leaves coming in, like they're actually broken through into the greenhouse. Could have done it with the glass as well, but I did that at that point in there. Got each of these blooming, I can't remember what they're called actually. Uh, what are you called? Spore blossom, that's it. I'll remember eventually. I've each got a spore blossom in each of them as well, because I do like the fact that these, these particles they're giving off in the air. It's, it's a quite a nice feel around here as well. I might get some more just to scatter them around the area and then here it's your cane but we can just come in here and then just go across here harvest it up easily enough it's not automated it will be a lot easier but i can do the automated farm at a later date i've got plans for that and i'll pop you into there and that is all good so with these two now done and night coming let me sleep and if i come around this way i have this gap down here and this basically goes down to, I believe, a cave. Oop. But I think I've been into this cave another way. Have I been into this cave another way? Maybe not. I think I have this torches down there. You can see the torches down there. So I've, I've actually accessed it into there. They've just spawned in. So what I'd like to do is, as, as I've been in here, um, is ideally first get out. I wasn't planning on dropping down in there. I want a pond in around the area where we are. So what I was thinking of is somewhere around here, leveling off down here, and then same over here. I think that leads down to the same area. I will double check it, but I was just thinking perhaps, can I get out of here? Am I? Dropped. I'm out. 
I'm out. There we go. While sinking in is filling this in so far down, and then just having a nice curvy pond here. I haven't got a lot for decorating inside the pond. I've got a few lily pads, but I can burn me all on the bottom of it. And then as we go forward, we get some bit of coral. We can come up with some light with some sea pickles as well. But I'll have a little lake over here, a little bit of a water feature as well, and then I can connect that up with pathway probably somewhere along here and I would imagine I can maybe get a pathway from up here and have that going down here as well. So I need some materials and we'll get the base of that filled in and then we'll uh, we'll get that made up. So uh, we'll have the uh, second time lapse of the episode.
And there we go, one time lapse later, we've got one pond, and you also notice I added in a couple of extra fields as well, just for some more crops. It just filled in some land between the house and the pond. So let's have a look what we've got. So coming down here, straight into here, we've got a carrot field, or carrots and beetroot field, should I say. Probably the crop I use the least at the moment, carrots and beetroots. Uh, don't have the demand for them at the moment, I haven't got any pigs, but maybe in the future that might happen. I'll just keep spreading these crops around as we pass. There we go. And then coming down here, again, I cut up put this little path in here just to fill this little gap in here. And then we're coming to one potato field. I tend to use these more eating it run around the base rather than caving. I'll save, save things like the steak and so forth for going caving and longer trips. But that works out quite nice for me around with the potatoes around the area. And then here we come one lake filled in. And this got rid of a gap here, which I didn't know what to do with. Uh, I do access the cave from below, I think. The, the caves on there will go, go to it. I did see my torches further down there, but this is really nice. I did travel over to where the coral reef is and nabbed a load of the sea pickles. I want a few more blocks down in below here. I'd like some coal coming up in here as well and go and get some fish. I think I'll we'll have, have a trip at some point, take a load of buckets with us, bring back a load of fish in here as well, just to give it a bit more life. I think that would be really nice as well. But it's been quite a little nice addition to the base here. We've got this pond down here now and it comes around here and we've got these two little greenhouses in which are doing great as well i've already harvested them once already but it's just coming here look at this already grown up so i can just come in here break this all the way down like so go around and collect it and then that's it we've got one big stack of uh, sugar cane in place put it in the barrel job's good and job's a good one and then up here and then Put that with the axe, take out the crops, and the stash. Oh, one there, I miss you. And then we can start building up a stock of pumpkins and melons as well. I'm very, very happy with this. But that is it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. We've had a good day progressing around the base here. Next episode, I want to start thinking about some of the locations we've discovered in the explorations we've done in the area. Uh, maybe not starting out on those areas, but maybe think about getting some portals out of those. Maybe doing some tunnels directly across the nether. I'll get some cobble in between episodes just so we're ready for that. And we can start connecting those up and I'll get a list of their corners in a book. So I've got them to hand as well. And I also probably need a little bit of harvest as well, but we'll worry about that later. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Any comments down below, put them. Put them. I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking. Any suggestions you want to see as well. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new, ring the bottom of the future content, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.